Shavira. I'm nine years old and now I'm in the fifth grade. And my hobbies are cooking and playing pretend, storytelling, and also writing my own story. So I like also journaling. So anything that goes with writing, I like. And also crafting, trying something new. I'm also excited to learn and probably some other things that I can't remember right now. Oh yeah, drawing as well. And today I'm going to be presenting about the joy of teaching. Let me just have a quick share. There you go, all working fine. It's still loading, but uh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so like I said, today I'm going to be presenting the joy of teaching. So the background. The joy of teaching, I guess you can guess that I love teaching. That's why the title is the joy of teaching. So let's start about the background when I started teaching. I started teaching since I think it was 2021 when I was seven years old, probably because someone messaged me on Instagram. She asked me to teach her daughter English. So I agreed. After that, that night I had a little meeting with my mom. We were making the lesson plan. We also discussed about making an academy. And I thought Sunday Academy was a great name for an academy. Why Sunday Academy? Because when I gave the name Sunday Academy, Sunday is an ice cream, and when someone's eating an ice cream, they're, of course, happy. I want everyone who's learning to be happy, like when they're eating ice cream, or a Sunday, perhaps. That's why it's called Sunday Academy. And when I'm teaching, I'm not just teaching to them. I also got some new experience, and I can also learn at the same time. I can share my knowledge when I'm teaching. I can meet many super kids, learn how to teach, how to manage the class, and the most important thing, I also can have fun when I'm teaching. So I can enjoy it. I teach not just in my own academy, but in several academy now, which is, of course, I teach in my own academy, Sunday Academy. Here's the logo with the Sunday there, just like the name. I also teach English as well and fun English for kids in Ekwawardaki, Indonesia. This one. And I also teach in another academy, Halakotul Quran, which English as well. And but this one is called English for Kids. Other than that, I also became a storyteller in a few events. And I also became a trainer. These are the photos when I'm teaching in my own academy. So not just in my academy, we don't just learn about English. There's also some story time here. This one is about Lion Hunt and this and this one is about Robot Sleeptopia. It was at the night because it's Sleeptopia. So like a bedtime story, but in a real class. And we also like to do crafting in my class here. That's why there's a homemade trophy in here. This is a picture of Sunday's special class all about Indonesia. And Ekorodaki, this is a class, fun English for kids. We, some of the lessons that we learn is also that family, that's why we made a family tree. This was my old family tree. And everyone gets a chance to make their own family tree. And then because we have a group, so they send it to the group so I can look it up. And like I said, I became a trainer. So I was also invited to become a trainer in Sonat M. Kidarita Hibandung. It was so fun. I was talking about me and my experience so i was teaching about that it was cool they all were just super excited and they all was like they want to learn and it was just so fun 
I also become a storyteller in a few events. It was super duper fun. Other than teaching, teaching is actually also a key to help us memorize what we have learned and to help us learn new things as well, because of course we need a lesson plan on our back to teach. And we need to learn about the lesson plan so that we understand it. And also I teach English adventure in the KVM Gunasi Juara, which is my own school. So my school has this program Pengajar Muda where kids can teach just like their passion. So anything they want. And in there I teach English, motivational class and public speaking. I also teach English as a Kaka partner in Brani English Adventure by Bifiti. It's just so fun. I, we like to play games and, well, everything. Other than that, I also teach Islamic studies, like in Ramadan prep in Iqra Wartak, Indonesia. And I teach Hadith for kids, Ramadan class as well in Harakatul Quran. So when I became trainer, these are the pictures. So you guys might see here, why are they holding some books in here? Why are they holding some books in here? So much of them. Well, yeah, so to make this a bit more interesting, I thought giving some prizes to the students would be a great thing. It will make them more happier. And this is a picture that I'm teaching in Brani. On the first lesson, we made like a chain story about the mystery of secret door. It was kind of scary somehow because we were talking about mysteries. So I kind of had to move it out and make the ending less scary because I can't stand scary stories. Anyway, so other than that, this is a slide. We like to play other games as well, like two truths, one lie, when I go to the moon, and also, what was that? Oh, yeah, we like to do some reading as well. And also in my school, I teach, like, I became a leader in the club, in the literacy club. So chapter one, which was like last year, we make some book review, but this year we're just trying to learn about creative writing. So in every culture literacy journey, every time like it ends, because like for holiday, every time it ends for holiday, we have like this report card and we also have a group, but this one is in Telegram and they have to send their works. So that's why there's a badge here every time they send their work there's a badge in every blank circle and yeah it's just so fun and my teaching weapon to make the class more fun is that a fun theme i like to put a fun theme some interesting slides i also like to use the trick like drum roll and confetti bubbles and some other things so we also have journal and worksheets so sometimes like on that family lesson in Eklautaki that I showed you before I told them to make their own family tree which is in their worksheet that I sent them so to make it more fun and also some storytelling usually when I do storytelling I like to use like some dolls and everything like some paper dolls to kind of show them the character and also some other fun activities like crafting, drawing, games. We like to do word search. We like to, yeah, just do anything. And also my personal favorite as well, watching because who doesn't like it? And so for me, teaching is not just about transferring our knowledge. I learned that as well. It's about transferring our energy too. Sometimes we transfer our energy to them if we are feeling so excited and happy, but sometimes it goes the other way. When we're feeling down when we're teaching, the students are just so excited to learn. Sometimes the students give the energy to us. And also teaching is about helping others to start their learning journey, but together to make it more easier and fun.
It also helps ourselves to memorize our knowledge that we have learned. So the lesson that I got from teaching is that new experience and how to make a lesson plan, which sometimes can be confusing, but of course, everything that we do has its easy part and it's kind of hard part. It has its own challenge that we have to go through. And also we can make new friends. My students are like friends to me. Learn how to deliver the lesson, manage the situation in the class, and how to share my knowledge, and how to manage my feeling as well. So I have to feel happy to make the students happy as well. So a learning process like understanding, practicing, and sharing what we learn is a process to make our knowledge beneficial for ourselves and others. So a teacher is also a learner. I hope I can share the knowledge that I have learned by teaching and that I can inspire kids from all over the world to share what they have learned in their own ways. Like my motto, learn, teach, and inspire. Thank you. That's all from me. Wow. Um, wow. Thanks, Shabita. Uh, you're, you're, how old are you? Nine years old. Nine years old. I have been teaching for about 25, 26 years. And after listening to your presentation, you inspire me to learn more and try to do my, 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 my job better. And you inspire me to be a teacher. Thank you. I mean, amazing. Uh, you're, I, it will be like really clumsy if I ask you, what, what do you want to do when you grow up? And maybe you will learn like to do so many things because you're a natural storyteller, you're a natural teacher. You have a talent that definitely is gonna change so many lives. And you're going to, uh, you're doing a great job. You're just only nine. I just can't imagine what your contribution for a better world would be. So, so congratulations. Uh, I do really want you to come back and share with us uh, your new lesson plans, your new stories about teaching. I mean, I wish that many teachers that around there uh, got inspired as I did after listening to you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you as well. I know, G, I do have a question or comment for Shabira. So I am very surprised on how um, you do like you're doing it this you're doing this at a very young age. Um, plus, I would really like to tell you I would like to tell you that your presentation it was really in um, it was really colorful, which made it very interesting. Um, I have a question: How do you manage this with your own studies? Well. Uh... Like for the schedule, my mom likes to help me manage the schedule as well. So I don't just like do it alone. My parents kind of helped, my parents helped me too. And my mom usually like writes the schedule and everything. So we do it like teamwork. Sometimes because my mom likes to manage my schedule, it's, my mom is almost like a mom manager, mom manager. Um. And I also have one more question. So were there any challenges in um, while you were teaching or since you've been teaching? Well, yes, that's a really, really hard yes because sometimes the internet connection interrupts me when I'm doing the storytelling or something. But of course, I have to stay patient. Sometimes I do get worried that the students will get bored because I keep getting out and in the Zoom because of the internet. But I try to keep up and sometimes there's some situations in the class that I have to handle that I hope didn't really happen, but it happened. So I have to try to handle it. Yeah, good to hear that. Um, and I am really inspired by you that you're doing this at a very young age. Um, and uh, thank you for presenting today. Uh, yeah. I hope this.
Yes, thank you very much. And and sorry, Warren, we welcome Warren Wilson. We stole a couple of minutes from his time up, but I wanted also to join in. Warren here, he's a professional and a master maker and inventor. So uh, I would also think, I also thought that it would be a, a very good chance for you to meet him and welcome him and that he saw and uh, because he's also part of this awesome lineup of presenters in the global innovation field trip. So. Arturo, thank you very much for your kind words. And if anyone, if I wanted anyone to steal some of my time, Shabira would be the person. Like it was like, Shabira, it was, it was truly amazing. It was, it was truly amazing just the way you, you presented, it captures people's attention. And, and, you know, the things you say about patience and uh, I, I've taken, you know, probably 50 years or so to learn some of the things that you said that this is just what you do. So, um, so thank you. As, as I said, if, it, if, if anyone, if ever you want to steal anyone's time, please, you, you can, you're more than welcome to some of mine.